everybody it is your boy twin place here back in another tutorial it has been a minute um so we are going to be creating today a r15 morph proximity prompt now if you guys need this for your game feel free to watch this video all the way through i'm going to explain how to use it how to make more morphs and basically just in general um scripting and such so thank you if you're new to my channel feel free to just hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications it means so much to me you're gonna love this video um, and I'm going to teach you guys what I've done here. Now, keep notice, this is actually the model that I use for my Ninjago game. So, I wanted to give it to you guys because I needed to do tutorials. And I thought this was an awesome tutorial out there. And the other one that I did was really old and outdated. Um, now, a part of this. So, you're going to go to the description and you're going to grab the link. Now, the link is going to give you the model. You can also look at my Discord server. Join there if you like. But uh, make sure to get that link below. And it should be something just like this. And you are going to claim this. Now, make sure to claim this. Once you've done that, um, it's going to say item owned or such. You can also download it if you have this possibility, your choice. Um, but basically, once you claim it, it is going to be in your toolbox in Studio. So go into Studio, go to the home page, go to your toolbox. Now, sorry, my camera's kind of in the way, but you're going to go right here and it should just be this top one. So I'm going to click it and you're going to click OK. And we're going to get this right here. So. I've done a few things. So what you're going to do is you're going to ungroup this in server storage and then you are going to ungroup this in workspace. You can do control U or you can right click it and do ungroup. So basically how this works is when you play the game and you walk up to it, it's going to ask you, you know, put on this morph or not. And if the person does the uh, proximity prompt, then it's going to put that morph on for them. So as you can tell, it says where, um, do it. And there we go. We got it. So. It basically changes your outfit now it's actually really simple um it's nothing too crazy now the cool thing about this and the the one thing i really didn't include in all my other tutorials is that this one you can do a lot with um there is possibilities of changing animations there is possibilities of you know making a whole new character and i'm going to show you how to do that um and it's really easy actually so that's the good thing about this so um we're going to create this let's say we want to create this from scratch so you can duplicate this whatever you like i'll ha honestly let's duplicate it and make another one and we're gonna do a different kind of valk maybe we'll do the other valk so i'm gonna name this it doesn't matter this doesn't have need to be different named but we're gonna go in here now we're gonna duplicate the main rig in here and you're gonna bring it back out to workspace so the reason being is you're gonna actually need to change this one as well so we're gonna call this let's say second rig okay um sorry i didn't do that right second rig and we are going to start changing some things and i'll you know what, let me just go second stand um so sign this is the sign up here you can get rid of this if you'd like it's up to you um in the model down here it has the part so you know i can change this to whatever color i like i'm going to do a blue because i'm going to do a blue valk um and the board up here can go into the face contents and i'm going to say right here i'm going to do blue valk morph and i'm going to change this to blue you can go into here and go into the text and change any of the text colors. So uh, I'll do dink. Let's do luckiest guy right there. Now you can also do text scaled. That's up to you. Only issue with that is it kind of is a little big. So I just did it down in there and you can turn down the text size up. So whatever you like. But so this is where it gets easy. So right here we have the morph handler and I'll explain that in a sec. But we're going to create this first and I'm going to go into detail last. But right here we have the proximity prompt. This is going to be the part right here. So you can move that closer if you need to um, and all it does is basically there's an action text where so you know if the player wants to wear it um, and then there's a whole duration 0.5 you can change that to whatever you like you can do zero you can do whatever you need to so change that as you like um, so yeah this does work on pretty much anything so console all that kind of stuff um, and then uh, right here you're gonna change the object text which is gonna be blue valk morph uh, whatever for me um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, it's actually kind of simple. So we're going to head into catalog right here, and we're going to get some outfits. So I'm in classic pants right now. So I know you guys are probably going to wonder how do you do it with models other than like actual like accessories and stuff. I'm going to show you in a bit here. So we're going to define blue Valk pants. I mean, that doesn't mean to be that big of a deal, but um, let's just get like pastel blue. Okay. Uh, whatever. Gang pants. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna go to shirts and we're gonna go to Valkyra shirt blue Perfect blue white collar. That's gonna be good with that now We're gonna go to items and we are going to find the blue. Let's go Valkyrie Should be in here somewhere oh, 
that's weird. They got like all this. You know, I don't like about UGC. There should be some filter to like separate it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna cal copy some things. So let's copy this ID right here. This is for the shirt. And I'm going to go inside the rig. Now, what you want to do, sometimes I like to just do it side by side. And you can change that one if you like. But it's actually easier if you just do it one morph and then duplicate onto the other morph. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to change the pants. Now, it's just that nine number, remember? And then now we have this Valkyrie helm. So you can just delete it. And once you delete it, um, what you do. Now, this is a different way of doing this. If you don't have this download thing... It's going to be a little harder. You may need to do a console command. And I mean this by going into run a command. I actually should have it. No. Okay, I don't have it in here. There's actually a command, and I'll find it somehow. Or maybe I'll put it in the description. Um, and it's how you import uh, assets into Workspace without having this. But I'm pretty sure it's because I have the extension um, BT Roblox. So make sure to get that if I were you. But you can just download it. And it's going to give you the Robux M file. And once that happens, and the reason I'm doing this, guys, is because what happens is it's uneven. It's not sized right. It looks horrible when you just do it yourself. So this is automatically made. So this is the main asset. You literally grab this and drag it into the rig. So I'm just going to drag it right there. And it's automatically sized. That's how big it is in game in general. It fits perfectly, even though it doesn't look like it. That's how it normally fits on a person's head. And then... Now we have this rig. Now you got to be careful because you're gonna. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So we're gonna copy the pants and shirt, and you're gonna get these kind of issues. So look, let's say this. Let's say I do Control C and I Control V it into here. Well, that worked. <laughs> okay. Well, sometimes what happens is um, it will just straight up unsize and be so bad. So that's how you do that. So now I'm gonna put this rig into here. And it should work just perfectly fine. I'm not really going to test it because I know it will. So, let's say you wanted to do a block or something else. Like, you literally just don't want to, like, do a Roblox character. There ha There is a few more tutorials online. I recommend taking a look at those. But let's say you want to add something specifically different. So, like, you want to add a part. You can literally just do this by making sure can collide's off, anchored's off. And um, now the one thing you do want to recognize, though, is in these morphs right here, everything's anchored, like for the, the stance. In the main rigs, though, the reason why you want to duplicate different ones is that these ones are anchored because they're like what your, your player is actually going to be using as a character. But so let's say you want to do the part like I was trying to say, uh, make sure that's unanchored. You're literally just going to put it in here. And then all you're going to do, if you do have the moon anim anim uh, animator plugin, it's really easy, you guys. You just go to parts. And you just control that, let's say, human root part. That's where the thing is. And you just join in place, and it's good. It literally, you can literally use this as a morph. Uh, as a morph. It's so simple. So, let's move into the morph, morph handler script. Now, I want to explain two things. There is another version for people who have overheads in their game. Because what happens is, if you don't have, if you have an overhead in your game, like an overhead thing, and you want to do the morphs, it's not going to go onto the morph. So, let's say you have an overhead. All you're going to do is uncomment this. So you can do this by doing control slash, and it's going to uncomment all of this. And then you're uncomment that, and you're going to uncomment this right here. And there you go. It's going to work if you have the overheads. But don't uncomment that if you don't, because it will actually break it. <laughs> so we're going to grab server storage. We're going to go to the morphs, and we're going to go to the server storage, and we're going to wait for child morphs. So we're going to go in here, wait for this. And we're going to go find the morph, which is the main rig. Now, you want to make sure when you make the new ones, you also change this. So this one is the second rig. So we're going to make sure to grab that second rig for this guy. Um, and, you know, we got a debounce. And this is the um, Go Gadget morph. I think I got this script from someone else and then I just edited a bunch. Um, but so what happens is we remove all the accessories off the person. And we check if there are 15. Now, if there are 15, then we're going to grab all the parts like the head and such and we're going to basically just clone all these new parts onto them so head we're going to destroy it and we're going to grab the new head from the character thing and you know if they don't have a head as in let's say they have the um the headless whatever then we're going to do this now um right here accessory we're going to add all of the accessories so basically all the accessories that are on this right here is going to be added onto our new morph um, and that's just like a basic humanoid thing you can do. Um, and yeah, so graphic right here, shirts and pants. These are also going to be added onto the character, body colors and such. 
Um, and right when the person triggers the proximity prompt, we're gonna make sure that it's a character, and then we are going to do that function. So it's pretty simple, but yeah, I just added that overhead. And this one, sorry, what I'm trying to say right here is with the overhead, it's going to grab our head. It's gonna check the, our character's head because we're at, when I made this script, the overhead is in their head. <laughs> a lot of heads. <laughs> and we're gonna check if it's there. If it is, then we're going to clone it. And then down here, we're gonna set that parent to the new character's head. So I hope you guys kind of understand a little simple tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be on my grind for you guys. Um, definitely a lot of fun and definitely a pain in the butt. But <laughs> I love you guys. Feel free to just make sure I like this video. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Links are in the description. Bye-bye.